Hey there, cats and kittens. Today I'm bringing you an Ubers battle against Nesquik76 of Smogon. Uh, seeing that he's got that Dark Rider on his team, I'm really glad that I said right up front that I wanted uh, him to be obeying Sleep Clause no matter what uh, the Ubers suspect test for this month is. Yeah, in case you didn't know, uh, the Ubers community at this current moment is testing whether Sleep Clause should remain in effect for Ubers. Um, and consequently, if you play the Ubers ladder and you get high up, uh, high up enough, People will spam Dark Void and Spore, and uh, it's. I don't think it's any fun personally, because sleep, when you're not just limited to putting one Pokemon to sleep, is kind of broken when you have such speedy Pokemon as Dark Cry. So, anyway, he leads off with a Lugia, and I see that he's got no spinners, so I feel pretty confident that I can. I, I feel pretty safe just setting up my rocks. So now he goes out into Victini, and I decide, you know what? Um, so I get up a layer of spikes on the switch, and I decide, you know, I could set up another layer because I do have my sturdy, but I'd rather save my fortress for later to spawn dragon type moves. So I go out into Panthalassa, uh, figuring that he's probably just going to go for a V-Create or I guess a Fusion Flare. Um, yeah, doesn't really do anything. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm have no problem with that. I'm glad he didn't, didn't go for the Fusion Bolter, although I guess now it knows Bolt Strike. I guess Victini now uh, knows the more powerful moves. I'm not exactly sure what the deal is there. Anyway, I'm just going to go for a Scald in the Switch, and it would be amazing if I happened to get the burn here. But while I get his Zekrom pretty darn low, thanks to a fortunate crit, I do not, in fact, get the burn. So uh, now that thing is going to still be hitting quite hard with whatever electric type move it's going to use. So I decided to switch out into my Arceus Fighting type, which should be able to take any hit from it pretty well. And as you see, um, that I think this is banded, and so that banded Bolt Strike um, does a considerable amount of damage, but does not take me out. Unfortunately, it gets the paralysis, which there's like a 20% chance of paralysis, so that kind of sucked, but you know, I got the crit earlier, so I decided to sack my Arceus here and just use the opportunity to go straight on to Nightman, um, my uh, Dayman. Ah, never mind. Anyway, so I got into Nightman, uh, which is my um, Hiram B, and just take him out with a Dragon Claw. I figured that he was banded in that. Well, even if he had been Scarf, I would have outsped because I'm almost positive I'm running Jolly and not Adamant. Um, but anyway, don't. Uh, I mean, Lugi can probably sponge the Dragon Claw, and if he's got the Toxic, that would be awesome. So I'm, I was pretty going to go for the Toxic. He doesn't. Instead, he just goes for the Recover. But notice that he has pressure and not. Um, uh, multi-scale, so it doesn't really matter. He goes for the Aeroblast here, uh, which is going to break my Sturdy. Uh, it's going to activate my red card. And yeah, whatever. Um, I go ahead and get off another layer of spikes as all of that goes on. And now his Dark Rise out, I'm thinking it's going to go for the Dark Void. So he's actually, he actually switches out. I was not expecting him to switch out. He goes out into Lugia as I'm going to go out into um, my Curum B after enough things happen. Uh, the idea being that Curum B has sleep talk, so even if it's put to sleep, it can still do stuff. And in fact, um, while asleep, it's actually a little bit nicer because it's able to switch out between different moves. Uh, you know, it, doesn't, it doesn't get locked into outrage, things like that. Uh, even though it has a 1 in 3 chance of selecting Outrage. I was expecting um, Fusion Bolt to actually deliver the KO. It does not. Uh, but luckily, the best he can do to me is Ice uh, ice Beam. Actually, Aeroblast, I think, would have done more. I'll, I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. Uh, so here he goes out into Latios, knowing that I'm locked in. And I just go for a Fusion Bolt, and doesn't do Jack against Latios. And I'm going to be forced to switch out. And I decide I'm going to go out into Deliani basically as death fodder. Uh, he goes for the Dragon Pulse, and based on the damage here, I, I'm like, sweet, I can set up my last layer of hazards. So he's going to go for the Dragon Pulse. As I set up my third layer of spikes, I will now have all four layers of entry hazards that I'm capable of putting up. All of them will be up, and that's going to be really nice for a little bit later in this match, even though he's got what, uh, two Pokemon that I love it, uh, that uh, don't get affected by the spikes. I got into Nightman, and I'm hoping he's not Scarfed. Uh, I go for the Outrage. Yeah, I was, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I, considering they didn't swap out moves there, I think he must, he might be spec not realizing that um, you can use Soul Dew in Ubers. Anyway, now he's going to go out into Mewtwo. And here's the thing. I'm pretty sure Mewtwo can usually take an Outrage from Kurum B, 
But now that all four layers of entry hazards are up, this is going to deliver a clean KO. So Mewtwo is going to go down, and that is now two Pokemon dead, actually three Pokemon that are throughout this match that have been killed by my Kyurem. He goes out into Darkrai. Uh, really, he should have probably gone into Lugia, who, had the, who would have had the best chance of sponging that hit. But as it is, Darkrai is down. Um, and now my Nightman is confused after three turns of Outrage. And I'm going to want to switch out to preserve... Uh, oh yeah, his Lugia dies on uh, entry thanks to the fact that I had those rocks up. And now he's down to his last Pokemon, which is Victini. Um, and I decide I... I'm going to go ahead and switch back out into my Panthalassa, my Kyogre, and, and take the Decreate. He goes for the Decreate, does not predict um, my switch in at all. And so I'm wondering if... I actually have no idea what set he's running, but I, I probably some sort of mixed set. Uh, but I am just going to be able to take out his Victini on this final turn with Scald, and Victini is going to go down, and that is the match. So not quite a body bag because I lost two Pokemon, but I was just impressed by the performance of everyone except for my Arceus who got paralyzed, and that kind of sucked. But oh well. Uh, great game opponents, uh, Nesquik76, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.